हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम एट सुधीर आई कोच अ चैनल फॉर बडिंग एंड इमर्जिंग ऑफ थर्मोलॉजिस्ट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस इन्वॉल्विंग एन इंटोमिसन हार्ट कैटरैक्ट एज वी ऑल नो परफॉर्मिंग ए कैप्सुल एक्सेस इंटोमिसन कैटरैक्ट इज डिफिकल्ट समाइम एंड कैन बी क्वाइट क्वाइट ट्रिकी ड्यू टू हाई इंट्रा लेंटिकुलर प्रेशर माई यूजल अप्रोच इन सच केसेज इज टू बिगिन विद अ स्मॉल कंट्रोल्ड बेबी कैप्सुल एक्सेस दैन डी कंप्रेस the lens using an uh, intra ie cannula and by milking uh, with the blunt cannula over the anti capsule and uh, after uh, decompression then i make a neck nick in the capsular axis baby axis and and last to the moderate size uh, for through which i can perform safe and uh, easy uh, phaco fragmentation In this particular case, I started with the the same approach, but the initial capsular axis ended being uh, around, only around 5 mm because the pressure was very high and there was a risk that the axis may go out towards the periphery during the manipulations and the Argentinian flag sign and other complications might happen. So I decided to proceed with the phaco uh, uh, with the phaco emulsification of fragmentation using the moderate size capsular axis. After completing nucleus uh, fragmentation and cleanup I implanted a single piece hydrophobic lens and the Clarion lens uh, from Elcon was implanted in this case however during the implantation trailing haptics broke inside the cartridge and only one haptic entered in the eye so at this moment there was only one option remove the lens and implant a new one while the staff went to search for a new the same power of eye well I considered an alternative optic capture through the anterior capsular axis Fortunately the capsular axis was slightly small and ideal for cap- optic capture with multiple attempts and gentle manipulation i was able to successfully achieve optic capture of ivel optic within the anti capsule ring i thoroughly checked its stability by gently tapping the ivel flushing with anti chamber with the bss and ensuring centration even with the ia cannula Once uh, I was confident in its, its stability, I re- informed the patient about this uh, intraoperative complication and the management. I also explained that if in can in 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 a case of decentered then decentration occurred later, we could easily explant the lens and replace it, either the same way or uh, same day or the very next day. And thankfully, the eye will stay per- uh, perfectly centered and on follow up even after six months, the patient maintained excellent vision. There is no decentration or the posterior capsular pacification this case uh, is a good uh, reminder that every cataract surgery is dif- different no matter how experienced we were we are expected situations can unexpected situations can arise and we must stay calm and adopt uh, in that more particular moment so watch the surgical video enjoy the learning and share your thoughts in the comments below if you have not uh, already please subscribe the sudhir aiko channel your support gives us immense motivation and confidence so enjoy the video thanks for watching